This is SAT test 3, calculator section, question number 13. They give you a formula for height in terms of time t, initial velocity v, and initial height k. And the question asks you to solve for v, as you see from all four choices, which are solved for v. To solve for v, I'll move the other two terms to the left-hand side. So if I subtract k from both sides, I get h minus k equals negative 16t squared plus vt. Now if I add 16t squared to both sides, that gives me h minus k plus 16t squared equals v times t. Now that I don't have anything added to the v term, I can divide through by t, which will give us v by itself. So h minus k plus 16t squared over t equals v. That does not match b, which is in the same form, except that b has a t, needs a t squared after the 16. It does not match a because the correct formula has a t in the denominator and there's no way to simplify it to get rid of that t, so choice a cannot be correct. The real answer is when we, the real question, when we simplify this, will this be h minus k over t, like choice d, or h plus k over t, like choice c? I can separate the numerator to get the h minus k over t plus 16 times t squared over t. 16 times t squared over t simplifies to the 16t we have of in our answer choices, and this is a plus. So the answer with a plus is correct. And also the h minus k is h minus k here, which matches choice D also. Choice C is wrong on both counts, so D is the correct answer if we solve this initial formula for V. Come back soon for our next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.